Hey guys! Everyone loves a travel mug. They're a bestseller for me. But not many potters can make them successfully, as it's quite tricky to get the lids to fit well. I've made literally hundreds now, so I'm pretty well practiced. Today I'm sharing some of the techniques with you. Before I start, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Okay, first off we start with 420 grams of stoneware clay. I'm throwing on a bat system here. This just makes things slightly more efficient and it means I'm less likely to warp the mug when I take it off the wheel. Unfortunately, this one isn't available anymore, but you can find similar ones online. Just Google pottery bat system. I use a natural sponge as it doesn't go smelly in my throwing water. I use it as a water reservoir. Just look at how much water it can hold, meaning I don't have to keep going back to my water bucket. Normally, I'll only cone my clay up once or twice, but this clay is quite hard, so I did it a few more times to help soften it up. After working full time with clay for eight years, I try and use soft clay. This is better on your joints and just makes the whole process a lot easier. I have a video showing you how to soften your clay, you can watch that here. I open out the base of my travel mug. I don't use any kind of measuring gauge for this, but I guess it would be roughly about three inches in diameter. I'll compress the base using the side of my thumb. I do my first pull with my left hand. I call this the thumb pull. I'm holding the sponge in my right hand and trickling water over the point where my fingers touch the clay. This prevents friction and helps me complete the pull in one fluid movement. Then I continue to pull up the walls using my knuckle. I use the knuckle of my right hand on the outside and my middle and ring finger of my left hand on the inside. It normally requires two to three pulls to get the height I want which is between 9 and 10 centimetres. To get your travel mugs to fit your lids, you might have to undergo a lot of trial and error, making good notes as you go along to make sure you remember what you did when it worked and what you did when it didn't. I'm setting the rim in between each pull. I'll then use my little wooden tool, which is based on a Japanese tool called a tonbo gauge. Tonbo means dragonfly, because it looks like a little dragonfly. I made this tool myself. It's just two bamboo paintbrushes tied together with string. But you can use dowel or any kind of straight wood that won't warp when it gets wet. The horizontal piece is cut to the precise diameter I need to throw my cylinder in order for the lid to fit after it has shrunk during drying and firing. My clay shrinks at about 12%. You'll need to know your clay shrinkage rate in order to make the lids of your travel mug fit. The shrinkage rate will be listed by your clay supplier. You can also work it out by yourself by cutting a ruler out of the clay and measuring it after it has been glaze fired. I'll make another video explaining this process soon. I use a bamboo knife like this one just to take any excess clay from the shoulder so I don't have to do as much trimming later on. The horizontal stick is secured in place at the specific height I want my travel mugs to be. This one is a little tall, so I'm going to chop a little off the top using my needle tool. Whilst the wheel is spinning at about half speed, I'll gently press my needle through the rim until it hits my finger on the inside. 
I'll quickly lift the circle of clay off the top once the needle has done a full rotation. I'll use a chamois leather to smooth the lip. Lots of people ask me where I get my lids from. I had to order a really large quantity direct from a factory in order to get them made in the colours I wanted. But if you're a member of my pottery club, you can buy the lids from me. I limited to pottery club members only as I don't want to just become a lid retailer. And also it means there'll be some left over for me. I'll talk a little bit more about pottery club towards the end of this video. I'll take out any standing water that might be in the base of the mug and I'll do one last dimension check with my dragonfly tool. So once I'm happy, I will finish off my mug using a wooden kidney to give it a nice straight edge. I'll check the diameter one more time. I'll then use a leaf knife tool to trim excess clay from the base. This just means that I have very little finishing off to do when it comes to trimming and I just have to tidy up the base very slightly. And finally, wiring it through when I'm done and leaving it to dry. To get personal help from me on your own pottery journey, check out my Pottery Club, where you'll get detailed tutorials, tips, tricks, and loads of recommendations, as well as a supportive community. The link is below this video. Thank you so much for watching.